In this video, Timmy's going to show you how to open an RTF file on a Chromebook. So, an RTF file is a text document very similar to a Word document, but it is kind of less common than a Word document. And if you have one on a Chromebook, there's kind of no easy, obvious way to open it, unlike a Word document where you can just click on it and it opens up fairly easily. But it is actually possible to open and use an RTF document on a Chromebook. So in this video, Timmy's going to show you how. So when you're in your files app here and you've got your RTF document, you'll see if you try to open it, it won't actually be able to open it or anything like that because Chrome OS doesn't actually recognize RTF as a file or know what to do with it. But you can actually upload the RTF file into Google Drive and then open it in Google Docs and you'll be able to use it just like a Google Doc. And then once you're done with using it like a Google Doc, you can even download it from Google Docs as an RTF file again. So you can completely use your RTF file inside Google Docs and on Google Drive. So to do that, you'll need to go into Google Chrome and you'll need to go to drive.google.com, which to me is already done, as you can see here. And now you'll just need to upload your RTF file into Google Drive. So if you click on this new button here and click on file upload here. You'll now be able to select your RTF file. So if you click on downloads, Timmy's file is inside downloads, but you'll need to go to wherever your RTF file is and then just double click on the file to select it. And now it will begin uploading. You'll see it's uploading in this corner here. And now it's complete and it's got this little tick. So now if you click on the file here in this corner, it will open it up like this, and now you will actually be able to read the RTF file. So if you didn't care about editing it and all you wanted to do was read the file, you can actually just do it from inside Google Drive. It'll work perfectly fine, and you can read all the content that's inside it. But if you want to edit your RTF file, you'll just need to come up to Open With and click on Open With here, and then click on Google Docs to open it up in Google Docs. And it will take a little second for it to finish converting the RTF file into a Google Doc that you can actually use. But then once it's done, you'll see here you've got your RTF file and all the content that was inside it inside your Google Doc. So now you can type new words inside it and make any changes you want to the RTF file, just as though it's a Google Doc. And you can even share it with people and things if you want. So. That's really cool. And that's how you can open and use your RTF file. And then if you maybe wanted to make a few changes to the RTF file and then save it back to your Chromebook as an RTF file so that you can maybe send the modified RTF file back to someone if someone sent the RTF file to you in the first place, you can do that quite easily as well. So when you're in Google Docs and you've finished making changes to your RTF file, You'll just need to come up and click on File here, and then come down to Download. And then in this menu that appears here, you'll see Rich Text Format .rtf, because that's what RTF stands for. And then if you just click on that, it will download your Google Doc or your RTF Google Doc as an RTF file again. So now if you go back into your Downloads folder, you'll see here is the original RTF. And here is the new one. So you might want to rename that to say modified or something, or maybe you'll just delete the original or something like that. But now you have your modified RTF file. So that's really cool. And that's really all there is to it. So hopefully you found this video helpful to be able to edit your RTF file. It would be nice if there was a built in way in Chrome OS that you can actually do this. But the Google Docs way is fairly easy to do and it does solve the problem. So Hopefully you found this video helpful, and if you did, please click on the thumbs up button down below. And if you want to see more videos like this, click on the subscribe button down below, and click on the little bell icon next to the subscribe button to be notified every time Timmy makes a new video. So that's really cool, and Timmy will see you in the next video.